Ladies and gentlemen, I am Brock Beard, and here is your starting lineup as they have qualified for the Coke Zero 400 at Daytona. On the pole for the 50th time in his career, his second in the last four Daytona races, give it to the Mark V of Mark Martin. Starting alongside, looking to become the first driver in 29 years to sweep both races at Daytona, all aboard the Trevor Vane train with his first top 10 start. Row 2, the Warrior from Emporia, Talladega runner-up Clint Boyer in the smoke and mirrors paint job the fans voted for. He's alongside the Wonder Boy, three-time 400 winner Jeff Gordon. Row 3, the amazing David Reagan, one penalty away from the 500 win in February. And starting alongside your winner of this race 10 years ago, the fan favorite Dale Earnhardt Jr. Row four, give a call to road racer Andy Lally with far and away his best career start and the 40 dominate of Jimmy Johnson in the patriotic number 48. Row five, dangerous AJ Allmendinger, the Air Force Ford second fastest in Friday's only practice and the bright yellow fella, 2008 pole sitter, Paul Menard. Row six, the rocket man, Ryan Newman in the Charlton Heston car, and making his 600th career cup start, it's the mayor, 2000 winner, Jeff Burton. Row seven, Casey, Citizen Kane, none too pleased about how Montoya raced him at Sonoma, and it's gold, it's bold, it's ready for this race to unfold, the 99, a point leader, Concrete, Carl Edwards. Row 8, the fastest car in practice, belongs to the Tasmanian Devil, Marcus Ambrose, and 2009 Daytona 500 winner, Mighty Matt Kenseth. Row 9, the Biff Meister, Greg Biffle, the 2003 winner, and the 2007 winner and 2010 Daytona 500 champion, Jamie McMurray from Joplin, Missouri. Row 10 has a couple of best friends, the Rushville Rocket, three-time winner Tony Stewart, and the aptly named Red Bulldozer of Brian Vickers. Row 11, Landon Sandcastle, back in the James Finch Thank You Teacher Chevrolet, and 2010 Rookie of the Year Kevin Conway makes his first start since Talladega. Row 12, Huda Man, David Rudaman in the old Larry's Dream Machine, and Daytona 500 fourth place finisher Bobby Labonte will fall to the back due to an engine change. Row 13 belongs to Roger Penske, the double deuce of Sonoma, Dominator Kurt Busch looks for his first plate win, and Brad the Big Keslowski in the blue deuce. Row 14, full throttle Travis Quapple returns to his 38 car and gets it into the race, and Sleek and Swift Darlington winner Regan Smith was very fast in the 500. Row 15, the principal Mike Skinner in the big red Toyota, and the Destroya bumper car champion Juan Pablo Montoya. On the inside of row 16, the defending winner of this race, the closer, Kevin Harvick, in another fan-selected paint job, and Casey Mears reappears after missing the 500 in February. Row 17, the Texas twister, Michael McDowell, so close to that win at Road America last Saturday, and the New Jersey Fury, Martin Truex Jr. Row 18, making his first Daytona start since 2002. Welcome back, 1986 500 champion Jeff Bodine in a second Tommy Baldwin car. He's joined by Denny Hammer and Hamlin. Row 19, slice bread himself, last week's pole sitter Joey Logano. And the wild thing, 2008 winner Kyle Busch made it Joe Gibbs 1 2 3 in the back of the pack. Row 20, your third place finisher in this year's Daytona 500, David Gilliland will run without sponsorship for the first time this year. The Buckeye Bullet, Dave Blaney has the same car that nearly pulled the upset after leading 21 laps back at Talladega. Row 21, Texas Terry Labonte, 11 top five finishes but still no wins at 56 Daytona starts. And Mike Bliss climbs into Robbie Gordon's car that inched into the top 35 back at Sonoma. And in row 22, all by himself, 1999 pole sitter front row Joe Nemechek rounds out the field. Two teams missed the race this week. Tony, have you ever seen the Reigns misses his second straight plate race in the Black Cat Fireworks Ford? And J.J. Yaley with the 46 team's first DNQ of 2011. In addition, Dusty Whitney, owner of the 46, also withdrew Scott Riggs in the 81 team earlier this week. And ladies and gentlemen, there's your field for the Coke Zero 400 at Daytona. Have a happy and very safe 4th of July.